Hey, what can I get for you today? A cheeseburger with some Diet Pepsi. Yeah, sure thing. Anything else? Uh, that should be everything. Uh, by the way, could I get that with no grease? Well, actually not really. Excuse me? Isn't the customer always right? Ugh. <sighs> Okay, well, the thing is, I can only make you a burger with no grease if there was a such thing as cows that could survive to maturity on 0% body fat. What's that supposed to mean? It's... it's a literal statement, because biology. I did not come here to be patronized. Let me speak to your manager. Ugh, <sighs> I... I am the manager. Oh, so you're making fun of me now? <sighs> I... okay. Working sucks, okay? Probably the most basic and universal fact of life that there is. So let me ask you this. How old were you when you had your first real job? For me, it was 11 because apparently child labor was still legal in 1996. But yeah, my parents made me start working for my dad's company when I was 11, and I don't think that's really normal or particularly healthy for a kid because it's not the year 1738 anymore! So the job was being a janitor at a huge football stadium, and I hated that job more than Trump hates the idea of eating a vegetable. Uh, what kind of hamburger is this? Hashtag fake food. Sarah, go get me my Twitter machine. Oh yeah, sure thing, boss. Mother, are the pro-choice gay Mexican black Jews gone yet? And as if picking up garbage all day in the scorching hot sun atop the upper decks of what is essentially a giant concrete magnifying glass wasn't enough, I also had to deal with borderline violent drunks and crackheads constantly. And I'm just talking about the people that I worked with. Guys, I saw some stuff. Stuff that no 11 year old should ever see. Like the time during a football game when I got locked out of my janitor closet, so I had to go get the master key to unlock it and when the door opened, well, that's when I learned what happens when two homeless men and a dead pigeon love each other very much. So once I was old enough to legally get a job, I immediately ditched the stadium and scored a job at a certain popular McFast food restaurant. The monetary amount of chicken nuggets I ate at work could probably pay off Uruguay's gross national debt. Yeah, so Sorry about that. But if there's one job that I could make probably 10 videos about, this is it. For real, you have not seen how awful humanity actually is until you've worked fast food. Also, if you're one of those people who goes into McD's and says, can I have a free smile? Smiles are free, right? You're not funny or clever and everyone you've ever said that to hates you. The thing that bothered me wasn't even how mean most customers are, except the time I got punched in the face over ketchup, but we'll come back to that later. But rather just how dumb a lot of Mick customers are. I started out working the closing shift. This was before they were 24 hours. When we were done for the night, we turned off all the lights inside and out, including the big sign and even all the street lights in the parking lot. Now, let's just take a second, paint a picture and observe this scene. Now, does this look like a restaurant that's open? Well, apparently it does! Every night, like clockwork, there was always some idiot who would look at the dark, empty building in the middle of the night and not be able to connect the dots that most businesses actually close at night. We would leave our drive through headsets on and just bust a gut laughing. Hello? 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 I want a McFlurry. Hello? Oh, they have a lot of light bulbs burnt out here. Hello! <laughs> After a while, I became the opening shift guy, so I was the first one at the Mick restaurant every day. One day I rolled up and I saw a vehicle that was turned off sitting at the drive through window. So I walked up and I saw a guy slumped over the steering wheel, and I actually thought the dude was dead. 
So I called 911. A fire truck, an ambulance, and a couple cops showed up with lights and sirens on. Turns out the dude was fine, he was just a moron. He had pulled up sometime in the middle of the night and was waiting for someone to come to the window and take his order until he fell asleep and his car actually ran out of gas. Basically, Darwin was totally wrong. Okay, so back to getting punched in the face over ketchup. That's pretty much the whole story right there. All for $10 an hour. Isn't capitalism great? After a couple years of Mick abuse, I had had enough and I got a job as a line cook at a certain pizza place that claimed to be from Boston. So anyone who's worked in any kind of kitchen knows the kind of rage. When you're about to close and go home, then a bunch of jerks walk in five minutes before closing and order the entire bloody store. <laughs> So sure enough, one night this happens, and I was especially angry this time. One of them ordered chicken wings, but the server came in to tell me this guy wanted his wings to be as spicy as we could possibly make them. Oh buddy, I'm gonna give you some chicken wings you'll never forget. Basically, I was trying to legit murder this guy with spice. I put the wings in a mixing bowl with the juice from the jalapeno bin, emptied every hot sauce bottle we had, and a 30 ounce jar of pure capsaicin extract. I mix it all up in a shaker and I sent them out. Patiently waiting for the wings to be angrily sent back, they weren't. So I waited, and I waited. And about 20 minutes later, the server came back into the kitchen and told me that the customer was so pleased that he wanted to pass on his compliments to the cook because those were the best hot wings he had ever had. You're supposed to be dead! But to last I digress, and thusly we have found ourselves at the end of yet another video, so if there's one sincere, genuine thing I say, only one, it is this. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um... Otherwise, what am I doing this for, right? Also, I want to give a uh, shout out to anybody at my day job who watches my videos because apparently there's a ton of you. So just a big all around hello, thank you, and I love you to everyone except Troy. I'm sorry, Troy, you, you know I love you, baby. Anyways, thanks again. Kind of beside myself that you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them. So, you know, what? I'm, I'm just going to keep on doing this for a while and see where it goes. Uh, that being said, uh, if you would care to subscribe to this channel, like the video, like hit that little thumbs up button and uh, maybe share the video, that would actually help me out a lot, a ton. And it's not all about my ego, but it is all about my ego. So please, please validate me, please. Anyways, I love you. Bye.